You'll have to be patient with me. I've never been the best public speaker. Never have been. Same old Moses. That's right. Believe it or not, Moses. That's me. You're pr probably expecting a great and powerful figure, a leader full of authority, self-confidence, a legend, walking the earth like a demigod. There was a time I expected that too. But I'm just a tired old man with a tired tongue. So you'll have to be patient with me. I'm older than I look. And I don't speak that well. I never have. Growing up in the Pharaoh's house, I thought poor speaking was the worst of my troubles. But you know the story. I wasn't Egyptian royalty. I was actually a Hebrew slave, rescued through river water, saved by a basket, my own personal Noah's Ark. And that was so long ago. But, I don't want to bore you with all the details. You know about the murder, the escape from Egypt. You know about the parting of the Red Sea, the pillars of fire, smoke. You heard about the tablet of stone and the, the golden calf. But, I want to tell you something about me. Before the funeral, before I am finally laid to rest, I have seen and done so much. You could get the idea that I'm somewhat of a hero, but looking back on the whole story from the top of the mountain, I simply feel inadequate. You know, I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go back to Egypt. I didn't want to be the leader of God's people. Those stiff-necked people I learned to love so dearly. I certainly never set out to be the mouthpiece of the Almighty. Me, with my lack of speaking ability? Talk about the wrong decision. I told him that too. I told the great I am that I wasn't, I wasn't a good choice. I wasn't a good leader. I can't bring weighty words with my poor speaking. There at the burning bush, I told him I wasn't up for the job. But he didn't listen to me. Oh, dear God, please send someone else. It wasn't that I didn't want to go, though I didn't want to go. It wasn't that I was afraid, though I was afraid. Mostly, I just felt, well, I wasn't up for the job. I wasn't brave enough. I wasn't smart enough or holy enough. Why would they listen to me? But in the end, all my inadequacies didn't matter, not to God. God decided to use Moses. So he did. I wasn't alone. God gave me Aaron, Miriam, to share the burden of leadership. God put his staff in my hand to work his miracles and his word. And he set me with my inadequacies and my inability to speak well and my murderous ways out to do his bidding. I didn't look like a hero. Leaving sheep behind to call on Pharaoh's court. Pharaoh didn't believe me. The people didn't believe me. I didn't believe me either. But the great I am is greater than the God of Egypt. 
The great I am is greater than my inadequacies. The great I am will accomplish his purpose even when his people are weak, doubting, confused, rebellious, incompetent, and afraid. Like me. I learned firsthand that God can use inadequate people to do his saving work. The plague took on the gods of Egypt, one by one. These miracles came at God's holy word through my poor voice. The lamb's blood covered our homes. The angel of death passed over. Just as God promised, the armies of Egypt were drowned by the waters of the Red Sea. I saw it all happen. I was part of it. But never was I in control. Wasn't about me. It was never about me. If only I hadn't forgotten the truth. You see, at the burning bush, I was focused on my weaknesses instead of his promise. But the longer I led his beautiful and stubborn people, the more confidence I gained. I became their leader. I spoke for God. I even saw the heav heavenliness and glory of I Am, and my face shone with the reflection. I learned dependence on God in my weakness. But I forgot dependence on God in my strength. It was just after Miriam died when we were wandering in the wilderness for years and years. And the people started to grumble. They still lacked trust. They still blame me for their hard and fearful hearts. So the Lord told me, speak to a rock that the people and their cattle could drink and live. I no longer had Miriam's help. But I didn't need her anymore. I had been leading God's people and doing God's work, so I told Aaron to assemble everyone together. I took the same staff that God gave me at the burning bush, the same staff that, that worked miracles in Egypt, and I took my powerful staff in my powerful hands, and I put myself at the same level of God. You hard-hearted, stiff-necked people, I yelled in righteous anger, your grumbling has offended our honor. God in mind. But we'll, we will bring forth water from this rock, as we did before. And though God had commanded me to speak to the rock with my weak speaking voice, I chose to take that powerful staff and strike the rock twice and show who was in charge. All the people got their water, but I, who was saved through water, was also condemned through water. I forgot the most important lesson of being God's servant. It's not about me. Since I made God as important as since I made Moses as important as God, I'm stuck on this mountain. While Joshua prepares the people for their final march home, from here I can see the promised land. Just over there. Just over that ridge. But I won't be going in. We buried Aaron in the wilderness. And God himself will bury me right here on this crag. 
and I will have to wait till the day of resurrection of the promised land before the promised land is fulfilled to me. Being barred from the land of promise may seem a little steep. I thought it was too. But that's what happens when you strike a lousy rock. But my sin wasn't simply disobedience. I made myself as important as God. I stopped depending on his word. I thought I could do it on my own. He should have buried me right then and there at the rock of testing. But I'm glad he didn't. I got another chance to learn that whether I feel powerful or inadequate, it's not about me. After we buried Aaron, I was all on my own. The people became impatient again. This time the Lord sent poisonous snakes. Their bites burned and killed the people. Then they returned to the Lord and confessed. I prayed for them. It was always my honor to pray for them. And God gave a way for the people to be saved. This time, I wasn't supposed to speak. This time, I had no need for the staff. This time, it wasn't about me at all. Instead, I was told to take something metal and shape it like a snake, just like the one biting and killing the people, and put that bronze snake up on a pole. I have to admit, Shaping that serpent seemed kind of strange at the time. I mean, I saw the finger of God write the commandments. You shall have no other gods, no engraven images. The same God who took, who told me to pulverize that gold model of a herd animal was now asking me to shape a bronze model of a snake. A snake of all things. Can you believe it? We know all about the snake. The tempter, the enemy, who got us kicked out of the land of promise to begin with. The snake taught us idolatry. But the bronze snake on the pole wasn't supposed to be worshipped. It wasn't an idol or a talisman. Instead, the snake became a symbol a symbol of sin, our sin. The bronze serpent was a sign of punishment and death. Death that our sins deserve. The twisted shape lifted up before God became sin for us. Our constant grumbling, our failures, our to trust, our stubborn rejection, our hard hearts, strung up on a tree. And everyone who looked at the curse lifted up in the wilderness saw the promise of God and lived. From here, I can see the promised land, still far off in the distance. I can hear the people beginning their journey. The Lord will come again soon and plant my old body into the warm, fertile ground. While I wait for the Lord to come, that bronze serpent is a comfort. It reminds me that God is going to lead his people without Moses. God will fulfill his promise in his way and in his time. And when the people sin, when they rebel, when they grumble and turn away, and we know they will, God himself will provide a way, a means of forgiveness, a sign of God's anger poured out and satisfied, lifted high on a pole, and all 
who look there will live. That's the end.